Skills Drop presents. Hey everyone, we are back again with another CV reaction video that I'll be reacting to someone's CV, usually from members from the Skills Drop University Network, but we will be opening it out more to people who aren't members. Just wait till the end to find out how. But yeah, if you haven't seen the last video, do check out over there. Let's go with the next video. Let's do this. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cool. Let's go. Okay, so this is the CV that we are going to be reviewing today. I've tried to omit certain data from this, not to lead the scent of who this person is, trying to protect my members out here. Obviously, I might throw in a pronoun here and there. I might throw in the right or the wrong pronoun. Who knows? But yeah, this is the CV we're going to be reviewing. Let's have a look at a personal profile. Okay, so there's no personal profile. Um, we would normally recommend that you do have a personal profile. This is just because you need to really set the scene and that's a really good indicator for us that review CVs on a regular basis to get some context here. Fortunately, I do know this person, so I do know the context. They do wanna get into the tech sector, but nonetheless, not everyone will know context, so please do write a personal profile and state exactly what you want to do in whatever industry you want to get into. All right, let's just move on to the next section then. Okay, so let's have a look at the education and qualification section. And right off the bat, we can see that this person is studying a master's, which is cool, doing a human computer interaction design course. Great, again, uh, predicted grade pending, we would normally say writing a predicted grade is better than just writing pending. Go check out our previous video because we did discuss this a little bit. Um, but moving on, we can see that this person graduated with a 2-1 studying psychology, which is really cool. You can see some great A-levels and some great GCSE. So overall, apart from that pending part, really solid education and qualifications here. All right, so let's move on to the next section. All right, let's have a look at the employment history. So we can see that this person currently works for Apple, which is cool. Um, I like the way this is layered out actually with the responsibilities, really succinct. I like the use of bullet points. It just forces you to be quite succinct. And I like, I can clearly see the journey that they've had at Apple. You can even see that they've even been promoted, which is again, really easy to see in this layout. I can see that they've also worked for the university as a assistant computing office. Uh, not sure if that sounds right. Maybe something like a computer assistant. But again, it fits into the IT narrative here. And finally, we can see, or what we can't see here actually is the end date, but they used to work for Sky in a HR capacity during an internship. And probably what's happened here is they've used these skills, these soft skills into these other more technical roles. So again, whatever experience you do have, if you're thinking, I'm not sure if I should add it there, trust me, add it there, it all adds up. So yeah, apart from those two grammatical errors there with the end date and the rewording of this particular role, I think this is pretty solid. I'm now gonna move on to the next section. Okay, so we are already at the final section, which probably implies what my monologue at the end will probably be for the CV. But hey, let's have a look at the interest and achievements. So we start off very strongly with the vice president of the African Caribbean Society, the ACS, at their university, which is really good, which actually has a lot of transferable skills. I know this person isn't from a computer science background, but like I said at the previous video, that doesn't really matter. The interest in technology is the best and strongest skill set needed in order to be a successful person in the tech sector. So it's good that this person was a part of the ACS and not only that, played a leadership role. Let's look at other parts of this section. So we've got languages here. So this person speaks Yoruba, which is a Nigerian dialect and French basic. Nonetheless, I'd put that there anyway. So it's good that this person speaks multiple languages. We can, I'll probably actually put English there too just in case um, you just never know. So I'd rather put that in there than not. Voluntary, that should probably say volunteering, but we can see that this person does some volunteer work at their local food bank charity, which is cool. And this person quite sporty, being a D1 American football player and a qualified personal trainer. So I really do like what I see here in terms of 
the content. I probably would pull and extract the IT skills from here, create its own section, have technical and soft skills where they can put things like, you know, team management, um, organization, you know, leadership for the soft skills, and then maybe some of these technical things like Microsoft Excel, you know, SPSS, Wi-Fi troubleshooting, HTML SQL in the technical skill section. So that's what I'll do for that part. So I would say overall for this particular section, I like what I see here, but what I don't like is the order. I would restructure this and really try and make this a lot more detailed. So not being afraid to go to a second page. There lies the next part what I wanna discuss when I give the overview of this CV. So let's tie this up and give my assessment. Okay, so I alluded to it earlier in the previous section. My overall for this CV is it's okay. It might not pass the CV algorithm test, and here's why. One, they do need a personal profile. Two, they do need to extract that current interest section with the IT skills there and actually just call it skills and have the technical skills and the soft skills in that section. And three, they just really need to expand on current interest there, just to really home in on the interest in the tech field. I would say this is definitely important on both sides, but if you're not in the computer science world, you really wanna showcase how interested you are in the tech field. And so I would say those are the few fundamental things I'd say that this CV needs to really get up there to really pass that CV algorithm and my own personal CV check test. Um, but yeah, overall, I do definitely see there's hope for the CV. So it's not a write-off. I would just only say that, yeah, just a few more enhancements and this CV is on its way. But yeah, let's talk about how you can get involved with a reaction from me next. Okay, so there are two ways if you wanna get involved with a reaction video or get us to review your CV. One, just let us know in the comment section what it is and we'll try and reach out if we can. And two, you have to be a member of the Skillstroke University Network and let us know that way. Those are the two ways. So feel free to do that or just continue to watch our great content. That's fine too. Just do make sure to give us a thumbs up. Do make sure you are subscribed and tell a friend to tell a friend. Okay, that's it for this video. Let's see what we have next on the next video. But until then, Skillstruck out. This is a Skillstruck presentation. If you like what you hear and see, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.